adventurers, parents, church family of Johannesburg North and North Riding Church, I greet you in the name of our Father, Jesus Christ. Wow, I can't believe we are already on day four of our Adventurer Week of Prayer. So what do they say? Time goes fast when you're having fun. I'm sure a lot of us are having fun because we are almost at the end of our adventure week of prayer and I hope a lot of us have learned a lot that we can apply into our daily lives. So yesterday on day three our topic was I bought you with a gift and it came from Ezekiel 38 verse 23. I'm sure we learned a lot yesterday and I'm sure we're going to learn even more today on day four. So today's topic is watering my garden. I don't know how many of us still have gardens or if we do, do we look after it or do we just get someone to come and help us. But we all know that when you have a garden, you have to look after it. And how do you look after it? You've got to water it, you've got to put soil, you've, just, you've got to take out all the weeds so that your flowers can grow. And if we don't do that, our, sadly our garden is going to die. But if we apply everything and do the right thing with our garden, it's definitely going to grow. So I would like to share with you the memory verse for today. It comes from Proverbs 11 verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that wineth souls is wise. So let's listen to our adventurers as they tell us more about watering our garden. Hello friends, my name is Akikra Munachin and, and I am five years old and pledge because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. My name is Ishan Yesu, today I'm going to explain the pledge. Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true. Be true, be true, be kind, be, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Be all adventurous, that's all that's good. Be all adventurous, we're learning every day to be honest, kind and we love Jesus through and through. We are adventurous, adventurous. At home, at school, we are adventurous. We're learning every day to be honest, kind, and true. To be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurous. Pray. Pray. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Wednesday adventurous. Can you believe it's midweek already? I have been having so much fun learning and sharing the lessons we have receiving from all powerful adventurers. I hope you have too. Good evening to our lovely families, the church, and our pastors in the way. Today, the one standing in front of you is Andrew Mutera. I am also best known as a powerful adventurer. 
that can evangelize knowing who I am having the faith of one who loves me and I promise from today I will serve and save others by sharing the good news of Christ and with prayer I, I believe I receive all power to go out in in and around the world so as I continue to grow in in Christ this is my vow daily that because Jesus loves me I will go just like the same verse for the year of for the year here found in Palms 27 12 Psalms 7 verse 4 says that says like an arrow in the in the hands of a warrior are children born in one youth. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you for the God in heaven for today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Thank you that you will use me, use me now as I share the inspired word. In Jesus' name, amen. Now that, to, now today we are going to learn a very important lesson on how to water our gardens. I'm making funny faces and I and I see I feel excited. Now, that is very, very good. Know that some may stay in places without gardens, while other might will have, well, I thought of all of you as I ran through my mind. What if I told the adventurers of a different garden, one that everyone can actually actually own? We will also cultivate it. Vert fertilis. One, fertilize it. Make sure we nature the seeds we planted by watering them, watering them, giving them all all the needed nutrients, so that they return produce or make more fruits. I see now you're interested. Excellent adventurers. Before we start, can you? Tell me either the verse that we said Sunday, Monday, or yesterday. Or if you can recite our tagline for this week. Parents or church family, you can help. Because remember, us adventurers, we love working together as a family. Look, I have them here. Look, I have them here. Wonderful. You guys did so well. I want to give you, I want to shout, I want you to shout a big amen for yourself. Well done. Well done. Because it's midweek, we, we will also do things differently. I will start with our conclusion lesson. On arrows, balance is very important. An arrow weight is normally measured in grams. Weight can be added to the arrow, taken, taken away, and moves, and moves from the front to the back. This is. This will affect the way 
the arrow flies and how it handles the obstacles so today as you listen carefully you will understand why the lesson is very important as a waste like important as evangelistic adventure our verse for today comes from the book per proverbs verse 30 11 verse 30 the fruit of righteousness is a tree of life that one who is wise saves lives let me read that again slowly the fruit of righteousness Righteous is a tree of life, and the one who is wise saves life. Proverbs 11, verse 30. From our third line to our verses and our zim, zim, verse, we are here, we are given a great command and a great work we ought we ought to do the exciting thing about this work that includes us as a young as we are we remember on sunday or our Speaker mentioned how important we are knowing our identity and on the following day the speaker spoke about the importance of faith that it is can you stop it? that it is important to keep communicating and believing in God. On Tuesday the speaker spoke on how crucial it is to love because it is through love that God gave us life. His Son and the and His Son and the Holy Spirit, and every day He gives us His um unmerited favor, grace that we gave. We give him back by bearing fruit. By bearing fruit. Therefore, today we are looking and looking at watering the garden. Tomorrow this the tomorrow the and days to follow until our big global global Day on Sabbath, the 15th of May 2021. The speakers will speak on on importance of sharing prayer and on receiving the crown. Why am I sharing all this? Well, as an adventurer who is now on the field, ready to go, go, and do the work of his heavenly father is important to have a chart like any of any of the one you see here in front we call these boards the vision boards now now we, as we, as we go up to go and shoot our arrows, or let me say, as our sim, this, our sim, they go and title, and prepare the land, gardens, which is the wisdom board we went out to till and prepare the land right 
that is when when we looked at for we looked for our target who could be friends or relatives who don't know about the good news he then he we planted our seeds which was the gospel now now that they believe which is today we brought them to come to be baptized and declare publicly their belief belief we should now do the important work of making sure our plants don't die so what we are going to do so what we are going to do yes you are right we we do all the very much needed water give nutrients in most studies prayer love to make sure to make sure they lack nothing we remember we do not have the power to save god will do that just as he controls the weather so for god himself he keeps he himself he himself is the is the for god himself is the only true life and way john 14 verse 6 you your what your part is to do your absolute best to keep the garden watered so today those who didn't get the vision board go home and make one put it on your phones walls or on your phones walls doors where or wherever it it will be visible and on them see that these points are going to learn this week are there which are one way to love three save four share and five prayer and six receive amen and have a wonderful evening let's meet tomorrow and learn on how to share it will it will be food clothes my life or what please be ready stay safe and blessed amen